sun is shining and it's a brand new day <laughs> good morning guys and welcome back to another video day 44 this will be the last day of the wbbl vlogs um it's been an incredible journey so far um it's gone so quick but it's gone so fast as well um yeah jesus i can't believe it's finished already incredible um yeah, I don't want to go home really. <laughs> don't want it to end. So today we travel back to Adelaide and this morning our flight is at 9.30 in the morning. So we're leaving the hotel at eight and it's quarter past seven and I'm about to head downstairs for breakfast for last time. Um, while downstairs, I will pay off my room bill and all that sort of stuff. Um, last night was a pretty chilled night. Um, some of the girls stayed out and drank a little bit. Um, Whereas some of us, uh, we came back to the hotel, we were just not in the mood to party and to drink and um, yeah, socialise. It's yeah, kind of a, a buzzkill after you lose. But um, yeah, like I, like I always say, it is cricket at the end of the day. Um, it's always important to have these things as a team to go out and celebrate your um, small wins. And you know, throughout the whole season, we've played some fantastic cricket. And, you know, I think we're lucky just to be in the grand final with the amount of um, games we lost, but the amount of momentum we had in the back end of the tournament was ridiculous. Um, so I think, yeah, a good cricket got us to where we are today and or yesterday. And um, yeah, I can't be any more prouder of the girls and just want to say a massive shout out to the strikers, uh, the franchise itself. Um, it's been an incredible journey and the amount of players we have that are capable of doing the job um, yeah, incredible. And shout out to Team Mark, Tally McGrath for her first year of um, captaining, captaining um, Adelaide Strikers. I thought she did a flawless job. Um, so proud of her and the way she's evolved into a leader. Um, incredible. Like just to see her grow over the few years and come out of her shell and be so um, socialised, like socialising and yeah, open to our ideas and just really proud of her, really. Alrighty, enough said, let's head to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, breakfast was good. Now I'm just heading upstairs to go get my luggage and then come back downstairs and grab a coffee before we go. <laughs> oh, and I keep forgetting we have to wear masks at the airport, so that's kind of frustrating, but so getting used to not wearing a mask. Uh. Okay, now I've put the trophy like that in my backpack because that's basically, uh, I don't know what to do with it. It's that big and heavy. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> It's a fire. Here we have a wild court in now, shopping. <laughs> Alrighty, just at the airport now, I'm about to go home from Perth. Just did a quick little interview on the radio. Um, I'm not sure what channel it was, but really nice, honestly. Um, great conversations and really honest conversations as well. Um, about to head into the Qantas Club to see everyone. Um, and I don't know what time we are boarding, but I think it's soon, so I better hurry up. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good 
you stop? Very well, thank you. He's taking the stairs. How good. Smart option. Alrighty guys, I am back home in the dog hoes. <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> Alright, so um home from Perth. Glad to see all the doggos are doing well. Um so Taylor picked me up from the airport. We went straight to his work. Um I dropped him off and then I took a car home and here we are with the doggos. So just chilling for a little bit. Um oh Kappa. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, what's next for me is WNCL. Um, I've got a week off basically until Friday, um, and then we go back to training for WNCL. Um, I think we've got a few practice matches in a few weeks. Um, depending, yeah, all depending on COVID and border stuff. Kappa, stop. Try to talk. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I think WNCL is going to be awesome. Glad to see everyone again. Um, can't wait for the Scorpion crew to get back together. Um, today, also said goodbye to Laura Wolver, uh, Katie Mack, um, and Dani is back in Perth already as well. Um, so, yeah, it, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Um, but, yeah, I think it was an awesome season to play alongside... Um, the internationals like Dane, Laura, um, and then also having Katie Mack, Maddie Panna, um, and uh, Nell coming over for interstate. I think, yeah, this bunch of people have been absolutely fantastic this year. I think we have got such a strong group and such a well gelled group. Um, like, we enjoyed each other's company. Um, no matter what we were doing um, this season for the strikers. And I think, yeah, we just gelled so well together. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think everyone enjoyed their time being a striker. I'm hoping everyone did. Um, and like I keep saying, I couldn't be any more prouder of Tali McGrath for captaining the strikers for the first year, for her first year and doing so well. I guess from a vlog point of view, this will be the end of the WBBL vlog um, because technically, yeah, the season is over and done with and this is the last day. Um, tomorrow I am going to catch up with Nell before she leaves um, back home, try and spend the day with her. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been such a such an awesome season. Um, yeah. It's been it's been awesome. I, I can't believe how quickly it's flown by. Um, it seems like a long time, but in the end, it fly by. It flies by so quickly. It just goes within a blink of an eye. Um, but yeah, it's been a really enjoyable competition. Um, 
me personally, I'm very um, proud at where I've come from. Um, I guess I could easily say within a year, my um, my um, sort of like perspective and um, uh, yeah, perspective on cricket has changed immensely and um, yeah, my attitude towards, you know, me and my personal performances and, you know, my mindset has changed more so from myself to my team. Um, nowadays, I just, you know, worry about what I'm doing for the team and hoping I'm making an impact, whereas a couple of years ago or even last year, I was just more worried about myself and what I was doing and more worried about what the people up top um, above us were thinking about me and yeah I think I've got such a clearer mind and a mindset as well I'm, I'm always playing with a smile on my face which gives me good feedback and you know if anything happens in a game it doesn't phase me um, like I'm, obviously I'll be disappointed or hurt but I know at the end of the day it is just cricket um, yeah so in that way, I'm very proud of myself. Um, I think I've had a really good season with the ball and it's been awesome, awesome to do well with, for the strikers and to see us go all the way. And then unfortunately lost uh, the grand final, you know, just couldn't be any more proud of the girls from, to get there. But yeah, um, it's been an incredible season, really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, can't wait for the next one. So with that being said, from myself and Cookie here, we would like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this whole series if you have. Um, once again, I just really enjoy making content for you guys and I love social media and I'm hoping you guys have enjoyed this series of the WBBL 07. Um, hope it hasn't been too boring, hope it's been a good insight into the life of a cricketer. Um, and sort of like behind the scenes and stuff like that. I hope everyone's been enjoying it and please, I'm always open to feedback. Um, no doubt I'll do a vlog um, for WNCL. Um, it will probably be more spread out because the games are quite, yeah, scheduled a bit differently. Um, but yeah, from me and the doggos, we'd like to thank you so much for taking time out of your day, your week, um, your month <laughs> for watching the, these videos um, if you can please leave a like it will help me so much um, and if also if you can please hit that subscribe button because yeah it does help me a lot um, and I hope you hope oh my god I hope to see you guys in the next video or the next series take care <laughs>